everybody, this is Rob Shack. So we are going to be doing the Battle of One Castle on Cow Cow's side. This will be the next part on a Dice Race the AI Battle. I'll explain that in a second. All right, what's up, everybody? So this is what we're gonna do. This is a Dynasty Warriors 3 AI battle. So what we'll do is I pick a character that's not on this level, the blue boo, and I basically just keep restarting the game until I get my max uh, morales for everybody on my side. Set the difficulty to a little bit easier on the difficulty. If you lower the difficulty in this game, you end up getting uh, your side has a higher morale, and the opposing side has a lower morale. I guess that's their way of making it easier for your side. So that's a pretty interesting little thing, because then you can do little AI battles on this on these levels where your morale is a lot higher and theirs are lower. So then you can kind of like see if your side can actually win without you doing anything. So it's basically like a demo, but I don't have control of any character in the demo, kind of. So. I paused a long time at the beginning because I was trying to figure out if Shu Huang's Shu Huang's should be four, and sometimes it can be three. And I'm not sure how that will go, so that's why I was paused so much at the beginning, trying to figure out if that's actually worth it. But we'll see. So um, the hope is that Cap can get over to um, Yan Wei, or he can start defeating. Generals under Jiangsu, like uh, I think it's Wang Fang and Niao Fu. If you can get rid of those, if you can get rid of those two people, it sets them up really well to be able to kind of destroy everybody because then his morale is high and he has like four officers, so he wants that. But sometimes it doesn't happen, so we'll see. Um, my hope is that it'll work out well for him, but we'll continue to monitor it and see how it goes. I probably won't talk much because. This battle is really hard to actually win, so I'm not going to talk too much that I don't... If I have to do another take, it doesn't um, move too much. So sometimes Shu Huang can have four or three, but ideally, Yao Wei has five and Kao Kao has four. And of course, Shu Huang having four is better than three, but he might still be okay. Because he doesn't really do anything. It's more about Kao Kao and... Dion Wei than anything else in this level. It's actually really more about Cow Cow than Dion Wei, but it's how fast can Cow Cow defeat generals under officers, officers under the generals on this map. That's basically what you need to be sure about. But having Dion Wei have five keeps him alive longer. So that's what you want. So now I'll monitor and
slow down the enemy's pursuit. You can retreat safely. So we are definitely in the late game now. This is extremely interesting game right now. Cao Cao has eight. Yao Wei has two. Chu Huang has four. And Zheng Liao and Zinji both have five. Cao Cao basically just destroyed everybody by himself. Him and his officers just beat Hu All of Jia Tzu's officers and then one of Hu Qi'er's officers. So hopefully they can either end the game before Yao Wei dies or or, um, yep, impressive. You see, they just destroyed everybody. But basically the hope is that they can sort of get toward Dion Wei and actually help him out a little bit. That's kind of what I'm hoping will happen. But we'll see. Um... It really does depend on if they can get up there and start defeating Zhang Xu's officers. If his officers start to get defeated, then Yang Wei will officially be saved on this level, which would be awesome. That's the hope, for sure. So I think this is going pretty well. I'm assuming we're going to actually win this one, which... Oh, it's been a process trying to win this fight. It's like, it has not gone well because it seems like the AI, it's just the AI are unpredictable, which is good. You want as unpredictable of AI as possible. You want your AI to not, you can't, you won't want to be able to figure out what they're going to do every single time. And so I feel like this game, this level particularly has been very, challenging with that. It's definitely required a lot of planning. And so we're hoping that at this point, it looks like Xu Zhu and a couple other of Cao Cao's officers are up fighting, getting close to Dion Wei. So I'm hoping that they can actually get up there. Or that Cao Cao will just leave the level. I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Because I, as I went through this level in the past, I saw that there's basically a lot of different ways that this level goes, but if Dion Wei just dies, the level ends, which is weird, and Cao Cao wins. But I want to see if they can actually get there. They can at least lower his morale, some may be better, but it's like, we'll see. Hopefully they can. But we'll continue to monitor.
All right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all how this actually works. They actually rescued Dion Wei. Dion Wei freaking survived. It's unbelievable. Well, actually, he's still near some units. I don't know if I can actually go over there all the way yet. But I do want to check and see if... Because Shu Zhu got rid of one of his officers, which is like exactly what I wanted to see happen. So there's Cao Aang. So I want to make sure, let me see if Cao Cao's, all of Cao Cao's officers are with him. He has Shu Zhu, Cao Aang, Cao Inin, and Yu. Shu Zhu is still out there somewhere. Cao Inin. Oh no, there's Shu Zhu. Okay, so all of his officers are here now. They're coming. Let's see how much help. So Dian Wei has one bodyguard. Pretty crazy. So um, thank you all so much for watching this AI battle. I'm surprised that they won because it took a while to get them to be here, but they got it. So yeah, thank you all so much and be sure to like, subscribe, and comment and stuff. And I hope you all have a great day or night whenever you see this. So